Welcome to my talk about SMAX V, a versatile Bayesian optimization package for hyperfinal optimization. My name is Mars Lindauer, and that's done with Katharina Eggensberger, Matthias Feurer, André Biedenkopf, Die van Deng, Caroline Benjamins, Tim Rukopf, René Sass, and Frank Hutter. By now, also more team members working on SMAX V, and these include Alexander Tornede, Helena Graf, Sarah Segel, Tanja Tornede, and Edward Bergman. As a friendly reminder, first, what is hyperfinal optimization? So it's finding the best performing configuration that's constantly lambda star. How to get that? It's the optimizer, like SMAC, which is proposing new configurations. And then the target algorithm could be any kind of machine learning algorithm, maybe an entire machine learning pipeline, is using that to train now a model on the training data, and then we are interested in the validation performance, so we take the validation data and return that actually as some kind of a cost function to the optimizer based on that the new configuration will be proposed and we're doing that over and over again. But how is Mac actually doing that? Mac allows for many different ways on how to implement Bayesian optimization, and if you are familiar with the uh, literature on Bayesian optimization, you see there are many ways. You can actually use different kind of initial designs, like random, net and hypercube designs, sober sequences. You can use different kind of empirical performance models, also called surrogate models, like random forest and GPs we have here. We have different kind of acquisition functions based on the surrogate functions. We have different kind of amplification to speed up the optimization. We see it later on again. And SMAC also allows to use different kind of target algorithms. Like it could be a command line interface, could be a function in Python, or even Dask if you'd like to parallelize it on your high performance cluster. So let's dive a bit deeper into that and see what actually SMAC is doing when. To make it easy to apply SMAC in practice, we have proposed several facades actually. So if you'd like to use SMAC, for black box functions, like the well-known Prani function, so we're really doing black box optimization here, uh, you can use the facade smack for bb or on the new smack version 2, it's called the black box facade. And that's very traditional way of using Bayesian optimization. It's a sober sequence at the very beginning. It's using a GP as our surrogate model and then EI on top of that. If you would like to apply it more for hyperfinal optimization, maybe even with hierarchies, dependencies, maybe even entire pipelines like in the cache problem. So you have to decide maybe the machine learning algorithm first that you would like to use, I don't know, an SVM or a deep neural network or whatnot. And depending on that, then what kind of hyperlines really matter and how to set these, then you are interested actually in these Mac 4 HBO facade. And that's using, uh, again, a sober sequence, but now as a surrogate model, a random forest with very specific settings, actually, and then log EI as an acquisition function. That turned out to be fairly efficient, actually, for these kinds of problems. If we now would like to apply SMAC more to really expensive tasks, like in deep learning, where you can't afford to run all your machine learning models, all your deep neural networks, actually, onto convergence then you need some kind of multi-fidelity optimization, right? And here we have one where we're saying, okay, we're changing slightly our optimization terms, saying, okay, maybe on the maximum budget, so maximum training time or maximum data size, uh, we would like to find the best configuration. Um, what is Mac doing internally? Now it's using an initial design, a random design, and using the very well-known hyperband approach for doing that but not always doing random sampling, but combining that with a random forest again, which makes it very efficient, sample efficient to find good performing configurations later on, and using here EI in combination with that. If we go back actually to 2011, where Mac was proposed the first time by Frank Hutter et al, and was done for algorithm configuration. Here the idea is not redefining one configuration for a single problem instance, but for many of them. So think about, you would like to find a configuration which performs well for many data sets or for many reinforcement learning tasks and so on. Then you are looking into algorithm configuration tasks because then the function you're going to optimize is somehow an average about 
cost function which always depends on the problem instance at hand. So here we're getting another input like instances, not only budget, optimization budget, configuration space on the target handle, but also instances. There we're using this Mac 4 algorithm configuration for that. We're using now a very efficient initial design, which is exactly one configuration defined in the configuration space by you. Then we combine this with a class of tracing that we don't need to do the evaluation on all the instances, but only doing more evaluations for the promising configurations. And for poorly performed configurations, we stop it maybe after one, two, three instances early on. Again, we're using now a random forest as a surrogate model, but with different kind of hypermass, uh, which are more suitable for that kind of problems, especially if you're optimizing the one time here. And then using as an acquisition function log EI. As compared to other packages, as you can see, and you might know that already, there are other hypermeta optimization packages, maybe Hypermeta, Hypermapper, Optuna, Hyperop, Botorch, Openbox, HP Venstar, and, and actually even more than that. Um, but you see here all the features they are offering. And the nice thing about SMAC, uh, SMAC 3 is actually we can deal with complex hierarchical hypermeta spaces, like in the cache problems, we offer and the newest version is also multi objective optimization. We offer multi fidelity if you would like to go to deep learning and so on. If you would like to do that across instances, then we have algorithm configuration. We have a command and interface, so don't have to stay in Python. If you have any other kind of language, you have any kind of script, binary, or so on, we can call, you can also use that. And of course, we also offer parallelization. So we don't are limited to one single one at a time, but can parallelize quite nicely. To give you a glimpse on results, um, here we have it from different kind of benchmarks from HBO Bench. Um, and we compared again Trankfly, that's more like traditional, like bit fancy Bayesian presentation with GPs. We have Bob, Bayesian presentation with Hyperman. We have Hyperman itself, we have random search, and then the two Smack versions, Smack HB. It's more as the random forest augmented version of Hyperman. And then we have SMAC random forest. That's really the HBO facet. So that's really the, the typical way without doing any kind of multi fidelity. What we can see from these kind of results is that SMAC is with using Hyperband and random forest early on performing very, very well. And later on, also the random forest really helps to pinpoint the optimum much better actually often than the TPE model, for example, in Bob. Um, so here we're really getting the best out of all words, strong early on, strong at the end. Um, I think that shows quite nicely why you should consider using SMAC. Let's talk about briefly about future work. So of course, we'd like that you understand better what SMAC figured out about the AutumnL process, the landscape. Here, if you should attend AutumnL 2023, you may be interested in our news work on that with symbolic explanations for hyperopter optimization. We really have an equations telling you what are the interaction effects between hyperopters. Then we have seen that we have many different kinds of components in SMAC and Bayesian optimization, actually more than what I've showed you today in that video. And be working on dynamically adjusting Bayesian optimization settings, for example, um, currently measurements at the Autumn L23 conference is proposing self-adjusting weighted expected improvement for Bayesian optimization, where we're dealing how to choose what kind of acquisition function to run. And maybe you're also aware of the Makarova paper at AL from 2022, where they proposed an automatic termination for black box HBO. And we're extending that actually to multi-fidelity optimization right now that you can also run SMAC with multi-fidelity and it will automatically tell you when there is little chance actually to improve further. So if you're interested in our work, you can go to automate.org on Twitter and GitHub on YouTube. Um, here are also the QR codes actually for the paper and the repositories. And if you should attend Autumn Ed 2023, we would be very happy to talk with you about SMAC, maybe about your applications, maybe how you would like to attend it for your research. So, see you.